Hey guys, Dave and Wemmy are back. I'll take from here. Uh, with another Real Thoughts. This time it's Avengers Age, Age of Ultron. Ultron. So uh, Avengers hit theater very recently. and uh, We Wemmy, saw it opening night. Wemmy and I were privileged enough to see it opening night. And uh, it put a big smile on our face. So that's that's pretty much it. It was it was good. <laughs> uh, let's get through some details. So it's considered an action, adventure, and sci-fi. Um, so it's the second of the Avengers series, obviously, if you're not aware of that. And about the ninth in the Marvel, Marvel world. Probably more than that. Yeah, thirty fourth. Um, so here is the synopsis. When Tony Stark and Bruce Banner try to jumpstart a dormant peacekeeping program, things go awry, and it's up to the Avengers to stop the villainous Ultron mm -hmm. from enact. From enactment? Who? What? That's, it stopped at an act. I'm just like, wait, what? That doesn't make sense. Enacting. Enacting his, his terrible plans. It stopped at an act. Okay, like, sure. But then just... But I didn't know what it was. Enacting. But then that needs... You well, know, sure. And that's yeah. why I don't know why you didn't click before. Anyway, go on. Because I didn't pre-read it. Rating. 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 IMDb 8.2 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Top right. build cast. We have Robert Downey Jr., Tony Stark, as Tony Iron Stark, Man. Chris Evans as Steve Captain, Rogers, Captain, Captain America. America, Mark Ruffalo as Bruce Banner, the Hulk, sorry, Chris Hemsworth, Thor, there we go, oh, man. Scarlett Johansson, mm, Black Widow, Jeremy Renner, Hawkeye, okay. yep, okay, Hawkeye, okay. <laughs> um, Samuel be. L. Jackson, uh, Nick Fury, good job, yeah. you're passing the <laughs> test, I'll stop there, I don't want to really, you know, yeah. take you much further, good, because I don't know who else there would be. <laughs> There could be Colby, Colby Smolder. She's in it, too. Yeah. Woo-woo. Woo-woo. Okay. What did you think of it? Go. Uh, I thought it was uh, pretty good. Um, I, I actually, to be honest, I'm going to level it yet. I didn't think it was as good as the first one. Okay. But I, I don't want that to hold it back because the first one was pretty good. I think the first one was really, really good. I think this one was um, very heavily focused on um, kind of uh, conflicting action. Which, which was cool. Like, they, they try, really tried to build up a plot and, and uh, uh, have character development create this conflict amongst each other, and that would change, and so there's all kinds of plot twists that you're just like, ah. um, But at the same time, they weren't, they weren't plot twists that caught you off guard, I didn't think. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't really surprised by a lot of it. A lot of it was very uh, uh, fo uh, foreshadowed um, with previous context within the movie kind of thing. Um, but it was still kind of cool, just the thought of, well, like, I don't want to give anything away, but, you know, the Avengers fighting, like, each other. So superheroes fighting each other was kind of, kind of a cool, uh, concept, because you're just, you know, they were just using each of their traits to, uh, get but to the other Thor one. But Thor fought Iron Man in the first one? Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know, we, we watched the first one the night before. Yeah. Believe me, I know what happened in the first one. That, right. That's why I was able to uh, compare. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. I wouldn't compare, because... It was so long ago. Yeah. Um, ironically enough, it came out pretty much the same day. Same yeah, weekend. it's crazy. I was on Facebook, and if you guys like know Facebook is doing this like on this day thing where they show you what you've done in the last like five years or whatever on the same day. So like today I was on Facebook and it was like on this day on like May whatever 2011. 12, I thought. Yeah, uh, 20. Yeah. 2012. It was 2012. Yeah. yeah. I had a Facebook post that said, Avengers tomorrow, OMG, I am so excited. Mm -hmm. So it was just kind of funny. Like, oh, good for them. Same weekend. Like, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so what I think about the movie. Um, I love the introduction of new characters. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to lie. I was expecting just a tad bit of a tie-in from the Avengers, the um, Agents of, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., TV series because with the last Avengers they tied in Avengers into Marvel's into yeah, the Agents TV of show. Shield into the TV show so I thought they'd do just a, like not enough that people don't know what's going on but just like a tad bit for those of us who watch the show yeah. to be like ooh I know what that is but they don't really do that um, so that's kind of just like oh too bad but maybe they'll tie it into the show when the show comes out next week who knows um, so what else can I say. Um, with the actual plot itself, I'm going to have to go with Dave on this one, in that they built up one conflict really well. But there was no, like, they didn't really have subplots going on. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a lot of, like, I don't know how to explain it. You didn't really fall in love with people. Yeah. I feel like in the past ones, like, you fall in love with a character, 
you could fall in love with a situation. Yeah. They didn't really draw on your emotions. Like, to be honest, it was so evenly split. Like, just yeah. kind of screen. Everyone kind of had the same, yeah. Captain America, like Thor, um, you know, Iron Man or whatever. Like, they all had their own uh, story going on. Yeah. And they would kind of crisscross a little bit. But, yeah, there was too much going on to go into one deep. Yeah. 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 So, there wasn't a lot of that. But I did really enjoy, like, just Avengers. Like, mm -hmm. I just... They're just so cool. Like I loved the Avengers. I loved, as I said earlier, just the new characters and the way the new characters brought in different things that we hadn't seen before. Sorry, there's a fuzz just floating. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> so I'm getting distracted. It blew it away. <laughs> um, so yeah, I enjoyed that part of it. Overall, I would give it... I, I'm kind of getting jumping ahead of myself. No, it's okay. We're getting close. Yeah. I, I was only going to add the one thing was that I, I did like... They, they threw in a little bit extra with the, the romance... Uh, good old Scarlet. Yeah. Joe. So they, they threw a little um, subplot in, I guess, sub story that they're probably going to continue with, I assume. Yeah. Um, which was kind of cool. You didn't really see it coming. No. And they, they just kind of scratched the tip of it. Yeah. Which, eh. And you know, <laughs> what was actually funny about you mentioning that is yeah. in all the previous like Marvel movies, there is always a little romance for you. And in this one, they removed like everyone's romance. They brought in completely new romantic characters. Yeah, they like Pepper, not anywhere to be found. Thor's girl, like nowhere to be found. Like just they, they reference. They reference them, yeah. But you know, that, there yeah. was no action going on, so it was very different actually. Because yeah, the new people that did have new, I don't want to give it away. Yeah, that did have romantic interests, which is like, oh, didn't even think that you could have a man or you could have a girl. Like where'd that come from? Yeah. I gave it away with Scarlet Joe, but I didn't say who. No, no, yeah, you didn't, didn't say, say who, it. so that was I fine. I don't want to say the other person. Yeah, I know, no, no, absolutely. Don't, don't do that. Don't say it. Well, obviously it'll be obvious when you say it. <laughs> but it'll be obvious, like, who they're with, since you said Scarlet the Joe. I know, so don't say the man, because, yeah. You like, just gave it away because everybody else has it. There's only, like, two guys who don't have a girl that I didn't already talk about. So well, where to go? Obviously it's a man. I, I said it was Scarlet Joe. So yeah. I gave away the Scarlet. I gave yeah. one half. The other half is a man. That's <laughs> that's the giveaway, I guess. Like, what? Like, obviously, if you say his name, mm -hmm. don't say his name. Now we're just teasing people. Let's yeah. just stop no, this no, conversation. No. Oh, I thought you were going to just give it away. Anyway, <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, what well, would I give it a five? Done. Go see it right away. I think it's a good movie. I think you'll. I think it's worth the good bang for your buck. That's why I'd go see it right away. Good bang for your buck. And it's a good way to spend uh, Friday or Saturday night. I'd say four point five because okay. I can I can you know you you can wait I think um, I think it is a movie that you will have to see just because yeah. it's it's a big blockbuster a summer blockbuster um, and it is good to see in theaters you know just for the action but I was disappointed I might even drop down to a four actually because yeah. like I was just thinking about the um, the. Uh, superhero that joined the yeah. new character that yeah. joined the the good guys or yeah. whatever. Like he was so lame. I was so disappointed. So then, yeah. Anyway, it was just it, I, that got in my head. <laughs> I really got disappointed. Oh, actually, oh my god, I almost forgot, guys. It's funny. As soon as we walked in the door after seeing this movie, oh. it was the first thing I told Dave. So call me a chicken if you must, but I have no idea where she's going. You know where I'm going with this. The movie was dark. For me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a very, I did not expect to be a dark movie, but it was a dark movie for me. And I was, when the movie first started in the first like 15 to 20 minutes, I was just like, can I sleep tonight? Am I gonna have nightmares tonight? And I'm not saying it's a scary movie, it's just dark. Yeah, Wemmy well, doesn't do well with No, stuff like I don't that. do well with those things, so I was just like, oh gosh. But like, you know, I was able to try to get past it. But if you are someone who, like, even the slightest bit of darkness in a movie or in a show uh, gets to you... Give me an example. Like, what, was the, what were the types of events? So is it um, the mind, mind tricks? Yeah, it was those. Yeah. It was, you know, the, and they would make... And the characters would have very, like, dark looks. They'd be in dark places. And just the camera motion and things like that really just... It played with yeah. my mind. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, as Wemmy, she did preface it. She's yeah. a little chicken. I am. And yeah, so I didn't like that at all. Yeah. Like, didn't like it at all. I was just like, I want to go home. Pineapples, pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> the one, one thing also, too, just a little tip. At the end, Marvel movies, they, oh, always, yeah. have, they always have a nice little uh, teaser or whatever for the next movie. There's only one, and it's just after the main credits. You don't have to sit through all seven minutes of the we full did. credits. Like we did. Um, so just watch a little bit, and it's 
It's Adam. like 15 seconds, not, the, even. not even. It's four yeah. seconds. They're yeah. so dumb. I, I don't know why we wait anymore, to be honest. I'm... I, ah! <laughs> anyway, so it, it's... But we the, wait so that we one. know, because an example is the twins. They were in a previous yeah, they were. thing. Yeah, so that's why we wait. So we know when they're coming, like, oh, those are the twins that we saw, and we know how they got there. But we, you don't know how you, how they got there. All you, all you see is, oh, they're going to be in the next movie, basically. So what, whatever you saw... We in, saw them in the lab, so we knew they were in a lab. Sure. With the... What'd you call that? Cube? I don't know. Is that the movie's all about? Know. Okay, they were in a lab with that cube. We knew that. Yeah, but that's... Sure, and all that means to me is they're going to be in the next movie. Or they're going to be in a movie coming up, because it's never the, the next one. That was like no. six movies ago. No, because, well, yeah. Because they always do, like, one for the character, the individual Most Avengers. Characters, yeah. In between, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, anyway. That's it's all? been real. That's okay. all I've got. It's been a real thoughts. It's been a real hey thoughts. Hey I yo. kept it real. Told you guys it was dark for little old me. Said my prayers. <laughs> praise Jesus. Hallelujah. I survived the night. And that is all. <laughs> okay, well. Alright. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see you next time Bye on guys. Real Thoughts with David Winnie. Hey.